amid ongoing hostilities between Russia and Ukrainian forces, the latter's most potent air defense system, the S-300, has gained its first kill. Following reports on March 3rd that 8th Romanian military personnel had been killed with a single MiG-21 fighter and IAR-330 Puma helicopter crashing, killing both the pilot of the first and seven crew of the second. It was reported that Ukrainian S-300 batteries were responsible for shooting down one and possibly NATO aircraft in an incident of friendly fire. This was hardly the first incident where Romania inadvertently became involved in the Ukrainian conflict, with the Ukrainian Su-27 pilot fleeing to the country on the first day of the war with his fighter and being intercepted by Romanian Air Force F-16s. Questionable training in the Ukrainian Air Force, with a recent history of multiple incidents, including reported friendly fire downing an Su-27 over Kiev in the war's opening hours have made possible downing of two Romanian aircraft far from an isolated incident. Perhaps the most notable precedent was the downing of an older Ukrainian S-200 system of Siberia Airlines Flight 1812 over the Black Sea in October 2001, which killed all 78 civilians on board. Although widely deployed by over 15 countries and still in production in Russia today as the advanced S-300 V4 variant, the S-300 has seldom seen combat. The Russian military intervention in Ukraine is only its second war after 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, where both Armenia and Azerbaijani had deployed the system's Ukraine's S-300s and came under concentrated attack in the opening hours of the Russian military intervention in the country, and their destruction left Ukrainian forces dependent on the handheld surface-to-air missile launchers to threaten Russian aircraft asymmetrically. While the S-300 is considered one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, the S-300P or PS or PT medium-range systems from the 1980s relied on by Ukraine have much lower mobility and situational awareness, and were not designed to defense large areas and lock a multi-layer defense capability. Although S-300s were developed with combat against NATO in mind and have been deployed very widely as a shield against possible Western air attacks from Algeria and Syria to China and Venezuela, it has hardly envisioned that their first kill against NATO aircraft would occur over, over Ukraine or come under such circumstances. A number of Western Alliance states, including Ukraine, Bulgaria, Greece, and Slovakia, deployed the S-300, while NATO member Turkey has acquired the system's advanced derivative, the S-400. Please subscribe to the channel.